Well, today I'm with Jennifer Gordon. She's our urban and medical entomologist with Bug Lessons Consulting. Jennifer, our recording on bed bugs recently did pretty good. I guess people want to know about bed bugs. Yeah, I mean, they're interesting creatures, that's for sure. Yeah, we had some 4,300 watch that recording. That was kind of a nice intro to the world of bed bugs. So I imagine uh, as people watch that, they might have had, you know, feelings of visitors in bed with them that night. I hope not, but that's, you know, that's our imagination running wild. But we have a few questions to consider as a follow up to our original bed bug recording. Um, let's get your perspective on these. I have three questions for you, Jennifer. The first one is, how, what is the uh, economic impact of bed bugs? Yeah, that's a great question, Jeff. You know, I imagine seeing any insect in a commercial building has the potential to impact sales and revenue, but bed bugs in particular can really impact your bottom line. Uh, for instance, the hospitality industry. In 2016, Orkin released a report that found 90% of hotels, 9 out of 10, have had to treat for bed bugs at some point. And when a bed bug incident did happen, on average, it cost the hotel $6,383. And these costs can come from bed bug reports lowering the price someone is willing to pay for a room. Um, additionally, there are costs such as possible litigation, lowering the value of your brand, paying to eliminate the infestation, and then replacing items. Um, in emergency rooms, bed bugs can have a huge financial impact and possibly even lead to rooms being unusable. And office spaces are not immune either. There was a study investigating a protocol to eliminate bed bugs in an office building, and they estimated that protocol would cost almost $8,000 to get rid of the bed bugs. And while that is a lot of money, it does not include all of the costs that the office paid for the previous two years trying to el eliminate the infestation as well. From a tiny, tiny little bed bug. Yeah, I, it's definitely an economic impact there. Tell us a little bit about this, Jennifer. What are the signs and symptoms of bed bugs? Yeah, that's another great question. Um, knowing what to look for is important to prevent a bed bug introduction from turning into an infestation or preventing a manageable infestation from getting out of control. So the first symptom to look for is the bed bugs themselves. You know, if you see a bed bug, you should refer to your business's established protocol if they have one and or call a pest management professional. Absolutely. Uh, the cast skins. You know, bed bugs shed their skins to grow just like any other insect. So finding bed bug exoskeletons is definitely a sign that you may have bed bugs. And finally, bed bugs are notoriously hard to find. And you may not find those other signs that I just talked about. So we often look for other signs such as bed bug eggs and their excrement, or what we like to sometimes call salt and pepper. So bed bug eggs are small, about the size of a grain or two of salt. <clears throat> and their excrement or poop can look a lot like little black dots. So taken together, these symptoms sort of resemble salt and pepper. So that is an easy way to help you remember what you're looking for. You know, Jennifer, maybe you should do this for a living. You seem to know <laughs> things about bed bugs. <laughs> Just a couple, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's talk about uh, mistaken identity. Uh, what are some common insects we might see and we think they're a bed bug, but they're not? Yeah, absolutely. So all is not lost. You know, just because you find an insect in your building does not mean you have bed bugs. Other insects such as fleas, termites, beetles, cockroaches, and others can suffer from a case of mistaken identity. And there was a survey that was conducted and published in the American Entomologist that found over two thirds of people could not successfully identify a bed bug. So if you don't feel confident identifying a bed bug or you see one in your building, you know, capture that bug in a baggie if you can, place it in a freezer and wait until you can get a professional to take a look at it. Great advice, Jennifer. Appreciate your time today. And uh, I guess we'll pick on another bug next time. Sounds perfect. Uh, and let me know if you guys wanted me to talk about a specific bug, you know, let Jeff or I know. Yeah, great, great idea. Talk to you later. Thanks.